happened, Ricky? Well, my boy Quinn decided to take a driveway a little bit too hard and We lost the lip. And it wasn't Victor this time. It was not Victor. Everybody thinks it was Victor. Victor, you got off the hook this time. So this is Victor's right here. Yep. And over here is Quinn's. And you already sanded it down. It was actually, I would say, about the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Quinn, your, your Fiat is on the way. We'll have it to you very soon. <laughs> So you're gonna go. You're gonna set everything down. Fiberglass. Obviously, we're not gonna save the carbon look. Right it's now. gonna just be black. Yeah, this is yeah. already too bad. Yeah. So I'm gonna sand it down. Throw some mar glass in there, make it nice, smooth, and paint it black. That's this it. is our last shot. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. She just got done painting and fixing the lip of the NSX. Thank you, Quinn. Thank you, Vic. Uh -huh. Thank. <laughs> Thank you for the practice. They're always making me practice how to do body work and stuff, but overall it turned out, let me see if I can get you guys, pretty damn good. There's no more cracks. And unfortunately we had to paint it uh, a satin black, but I think it looks really good. So there you go. You break them, I fix them. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, not bad, right? Like <laughs> dude. <laughs> all right, let's go. Get out of here, bro. Hell no. I, I spent all day fixing your lip. <laughs> Today is a very bittersweet day. Not only is one car leaving the shop, but actually two cars are leaving. Now the guy's got the NSX all detailed up. We've got the original NK wheels on, and I will say, I actually really like it. I actually think that I like this setup more than the Mugen wheels that were on here for a couple of reasons. One, the color, I think just the black on black looks freaking awesome and classic. I also like the diameter of the wheels. So this is one inch bigger. This is a 17 in the front, 18 in the back. You guys sad to see this thing go or what? Yes. I am. Sad, yes, but I think it's, it's, it's done. Ready for the next one. Yeah, I agree. Now, what's this? What are you doing with this? this is my cappuccino. And I'm ready for the next one, too. So <laughs> I'm gonna drop it off with the NSX and hopefully we can get a sale on it. And then if we do, who knows? Who knows? All right, now today I'm I'm unfortunately staying here in San Diego today, so the guys are gonna have a ton of fun. I can't say I'm unfortunately staying here in San Diego today. That's not unfortunate. A, a lot of people want to be here. And the guys are going to have a great time. I know I'm gonna be super jealous. Top Rank is one of the coolest places. If you're a car enthusiast, it is one of the coolest places ever to go. So. I know the NSX is gonna be in good hands and maybe one of you guys will wanna buy it. And if you do, check out the link in the video description and uh, make an offer on it because it is officially for sale right now as you're watching this video. turning this car back in uh, to them uh, for consignment is a little bit crazy. I mean, this car meant so much to Throttle. It means so much to Throttle. Um, we picked this car up from Top Rank as a 1 million subscriber gift to ourselves. And uh, we've done pretty much everything we really wanted to do with it. Had this car been privately owned by myself, I probably would have taken a couple different routes with some of the modifications that we did. I'm sure Evan, and Rick and Ricky and all the guys would have done the same. We kind of modified it as a team. We've all had our fair chance to enjoy it and uh, have fun with it, take it to some events, and it's time for something new around the shop. So, uh, you know, as Evan mentioned previously, we're gonna turn it back over to Top Rank and allow them to consign it for us. I'm having a real hard time with this one because this is kind of a, well, I mean, I'm sure Rick and Evan are and Ricky is too. I mean, this is a, like a holy grail car for us. At our age, this was like the, the cool car to have when we were in our teens. And now uh, we've owned one and we've had our fun with it. And it is as good as I remember them being when they first came out or better. And this is definitely something that 
you know, I could imagine myself holding on to one of these cars, actually getting one and keeping it. Uh, I don't have the budget or the funds to, to purchase this one outright, unfortunately. I know Evan's actually kicked around the idea as well of keeping it uh, for his own private collection. Being a YouTube channel, we need to keep the content uh, flowing, and so that means it's time for someone else to own this thing. And I think it's gonna go to a good home, and maybe it's one of you guys. So if you have any interest in owning this, this NSX, it's a 1991. Uh, it has the most epic seats in it that I've ever sat in, in a, in a sports car. So, you know, it's one of those things like we don't even know where these seats came from. They came to us from Japan in the car, and they're fantastic. They're a racing back with a factory bottom. It's like the best of both worlds. Uh, it allows you to sit low in the car, keep all the power functions and comfort that you would have in a stock seat all while hugging your body and uh, allowing you to do some track time if you want. So there's a lot of great things about this car. We did a lot of upgrades. Uh, we fixed a lot of stuff that was wrong with it when we got it. Uh, if you remember, if you haven't seen the episode, we actually got this car directly from the port off the boat. So it wasn't even washed. So Top Rank didn't even get a chance to really have their way with it before we took it from them. That's how excited we were about it. So we went through, you guys saw we did KW coilovers. The car rides amazing now. We added an ultra racing uh, rear brace. We added the Magnaflow custom exhaust, among a bunch of other things. We've got a Pioneer head unit in here, which really helped the audio system. We tossed our throttle shift knob on here. Of course, we added the fluoro yellow uh, NSX calipers and brake upgrade. We added a Sabon carbon fiber hood, Sabon front lip and a CompTech rear spoiler. All great additions for this platform. I don't know, man, this thing's so well-rounded. So not only are we taking the NSX to top rank uh, to consign the sale, we're also taking Ricky's cappuccino, as you can see there. He's, uh, he's gonna part ways with his cappuccino and uh, let the boys at top rank consign it for him. So if you guys are in the market for a fun little uh, K car, you hit up top rank because uh, this one's pretty cool. I love the blow off noises it makes. <laughs> Looks so cool. I'm wearing these glasses for a reason because I'm actually shedding a tear behind them. Uh, it's gonna be gonna be sorely missed around the shop. So hopefully, um, hopefully we pick up something equally as cool or cooler and we can bring you guys some, some additional content uh, in the future with another top rank project. So let's get this thing back up there. We got about another half hours with a drive ahead of us and um, we'll film a bit while we're there. So hang tight, we'll be there shortly. street that Top Rank's warehouse is on. Just got to make a left turn here and their uh, shop will be on our right hand side. So I'm going to attempt to pull this NSX into their driveway. It is a tricky one. Uh, Ricky just spent a bunch of time fixing it from those two mishaps. So uh, I don't want to be the guy that screws it up. So I'm going to take my time and pull in. Hopefully we don't hear any <laughs> crunches. That's the hope anyway. We'll see how I do. She is a good car. Next owner is going to be real happy with this one. Oh, they're killing me. They did this on purpose. They know I want that car. Killing me. 33s. 33s everywhere. Ooh. Oh. My God, I think I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, this place is bonkers right now. The inventory is ridiculous. Buy our NSX, but if you guys are in the market for another JDM car, now's the time to hit these guys up. There is a lot of cool stuff here. You know what? Let's go in and show you guys around. Skylines everywhere. Every, even on the lift, like oh. everywhere. the way it looks now because it needs a lot of work and that's what I have and I have time now you know why because I'm full at throttle now that was the best part I love this this is exactly how we bought my wife's FD there's nothing better than turning something like this into something I should do it that's my vote <laughs> You're not spending other people's money, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I told Evan to get. It's a panel. I'm not even hitting on the NA. I can deal with this. Well, I saw these Ganador style mirrors, this cool hood, that giant wand gun wing on the back. Jeez. <laughs> kind of getting a little excited about FDs again, although Yasuka's trying to talk me into a Type R. All right, well, Ricky and I are over here just kind of discussing Maybe picking up this year's Supra. <laughs> uh, I'm sold out for this. <laughs> and it's white, which makes yeah. me really happy. It's that or an FD, and we've done FDs. I think I'm leaning towards the Supra. Me too. We should try it. What are we're, we doing? We're, we're taking this Supra home, I think, and uh, we're not calling Evan or Rick. I'm just making the call on this one. It's easier to ask for forgiveness, right? I gotta get this. Hello? So we're gonna hop in an Integra Type R. They've got about six or seven of these here right now. So if you guys are wanting a right-hand drive Integra Type R, top rank are the guys to look up. You can check their website out, click the link in the description down below, or find them on the internet. We're gonna go hop in this thing and see if it's all it's cracked up to be. And this one's special because it's a four-door, which means we can take Sean with us. Yeah. This one has some bits too, so I see it has a Jay's Racing double vent hood, some audio stuff. I think it's lowered on some inkies. Pop the hood. Pop the James Racing hood, which is, uh, I think these are now discontinued. Looks like it's been repaired. We good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about uh, can't reach, huh? the, the Victor lip is safe. <laughs> Brings me back to my teens, dog. <laughs> it literally reminds me of the 90s. Right? Look how low I'm sitting. All right, hop in, boys. This is comfy though. And I said like those comfy. Ricaro seats are nice. Boy, he's good at these lip games. Well, it makes all the Honda noises very well. Alright, man, you got that. <laughs> What do you guys think of ITRs? You guys think that uh, you'd like to see us build one on the channel? Because there are a lot here. We could easily pick one up. Yeah, leave us some comments down below. But now we're going to take this Delica for a rip. Turbo diesel off road van has all kinds of quirky features. I love this thing. I've had my eye on it for a while, but it's definitely something that like I could see myself owning one day. These are power sunshades. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is baller, bro. Dude, yeah. <laughs> this thing is so cool. I feel like I'm sitting up so high in here. The floor is so high. <laughs> what? But you can control them from there? What? Look, look up, look up, look up. Wait, watch this. Oh. <laughs> this thing oh, is... Boy. Hey, let's take this home, dude. Whoa, 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 we're trying not to flip it over. Yeah. Ricky, take it oh, easy. Oh, we're good, bro. <laughs> Let's see how fast it goes in a straight line. <laughs> okay, it's not a Honda. So it's not the fastest thing in the world, but you're not trying to go fast in this anyway. Right? But it's moving. All right, as long it's, as it goes 80 on the freeway, that's yeah, all we care about. I'm sure it does. All right, well, that's two cars that we've driven that we're interested in. The Delica, the Integra Type R. 
There's one last car here that we want to drive. It just literally came off the boat like a couple days ago. Oh! Oh! You want to tell there, bud? Whoa! This feels like a big car. Uber Eats? So this is a Nissan Skyline R32 GTS. Not a GTR, a GTS. So this is an RB20 single turbo. All right, man, look at all these GTRs. So many and this beautiful white head inside. Thing dreams are made of right there. <laughs> This is probably the smoothest car out of the three that we've driven so far. Yeah, they've done a lot underneath this car. It, it's really tight. It handles pretty much like a new car. <laughs> Hope the brakes work. <laughs> oh yeah, they work. I'm impressed. You said 2.0? I'm actually impressed, bro. Okay, well. It needs a lot of work. You down? For this? This thing has the throttle special. <laughs> Before it's a throttle iconic car. I think this is perfect for us. And you know what I love about it? Mm. It's white. It's it. AC it, works cold just like yep. all the rest of their cars. And I, I need a little bit of it by the way. You got my vents closed. Hey stop. No, they're they're facing me. They're facing <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you did it on purpose? <laughs> yeah. I'm over here sweating even I'm though hot. she's on high. She's a little laggy, but we can fix that. So, All right, so should we take this one home, guys? We're gonna end the video here and leave it up to you guys. I see some comments in the comment section down below. RB20 Nissan Skyline R32 GTS rear wheel drive for the throttle channel. Do you guys wanna see us build this up, make it an animal? 